back with you today. Uh, today we're going to be discussing optics and backup sites. Uh, backup sites are going to be the main focus of this uh, video. Um, I'm just going to show you why you should use uh, backup sites and you know why they're there. Some people don't put them on the rifle. Some people do. Some people put them on the rifle for the wrong reasons and some people that need backup sites don't put them on the rifle at all. So I'm just going to go over some of that right here. Uh, the main question is, do you need backup sites on your rifle? Well, you know, you can answer that yes or no, um, depending on a few things. If you're using your rifle, and this goes for any rifle, I just have the AR here. If you're using your rifle for any kind of duty use or uh, home protection or, um, you know, police work, security work, anything like that, you're going to want iron. You're going to want some backup sights. And, you know, that comes in the form of iron sights normally. Um, they can be flip down sights if you're running an optic. Um, this is mainly what, what I'm talking about here. If you're running an optic and your optic goes down, you want some type of sight after the optic goes down. So that's where the backup sight come in, comes into play. And uh, I'm going to show you real quick here um, just what I'm talking about. All my scopes I own are on other rifles. I don't have one on the AR, and I also uh, I don't use a red dot because I have a I have a astigmatism in my eye and it messes up the dot for me. So I got this uh, this little uh, toilet paper or not toilet paper, but a paper towel roll. I'm just gonna use this as a scope or red dot here just to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so you have your uh, rear here. These are this is a Magpul rear. And it's a flip up so it pops down and when you push the button it flips up so we're going to put that down and uh, on this rifle we have the uh, the front uh, pin sight okay I'll go ahead and let you see this rear up close here okay that's the magpul you just push that button and it pops up okay put that back down now this is what I'm what I'm talking about Say you have your rings on here, okay? Your scope is mounted over the rear sight. And you're gonna have rings that are high enough to do that and that's not very hard to get. Okay, so what if your glass breaks in your scope? Well, you have a problem. You ain't gonna be able to see through your scope, so you want something to be able to sight. What you want is a quick detach um, mount so you can just hit a lever or two and rip this scope off and throw it and then pop your rear up now that's if you have a front uh, front um, post on your gun if you have a flip up on your front you can flip that front side up okay now I'm going to show you what to do if you have a red dot on it you have your red dot and we'll just put it right here because the red dot wouldn't go over your uh, backup sight okay and it would be sitting right there um, say your red dot battery goes out and you can't see okay the glass is still good but the red dot the actual dot is out all you have to do is pop that up as you can see the uh, aperture there goes directly through the red dot and you'll be able to co-witness your sights and you'll still have sights even with the red dot on there so you won't have to do anything but pop that um, rear side up Again, if you have a front sight, pop the front sight up also, okay? Now, let's say you have the red dot on there and the red dot gets damaged somehow. Um, again, quick detach. I think it's a good idea there. Um, take the red dot off, throw it in your pocket, throw it on the ground, don't really matter if it's broke. And then you have your sight still, okay? Front again, the same. This one has the post, which I actually like, but you can have um, a flip up front, flip up that sight. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not gonna go into using your uh, red dot as a rear aperture, although I have done that before. When I have used a red dot, I just I just don't like it because the, the dot's so blurry, so I don't use that anymore at all. But you can actually, if your dot went out in your scope, put the front side in the middle if you have them direct co-witnessed, an absolute co-witness means that your sights are exactly where that dot's going to be. 
you know, for close range, you can actually uh, just look through the red dot and put your front sight in there and you'll be able to see good enough, you know, for close range. Um, on out to 50 to 100 yards, I've shot with before uh, just doing that at a steel, steel plate, so that's possible. Okay, now we've got through, if you're using this rifle for duty use or uh, home defense, okay, you won't iron, you won't back up sights. That's, uh, that's a given. What if you don't use it for them purposes? Well, you know, that's your choice. If you want them on there, hey, throw them on there. If you don't want them on there, that's fine also. If you're just taking your rifle to the range just to shoot, you know, or, or using it in three gun or some kind of, you know, just fun shooting match or, uh, you know, just plinking with it, you don't, you don't have to put backup sights on there. Now you could still use these type of sights if you want to, if you want that to be your primary sighting system, which I actually uh, prefer on my rifle here. But uh, if you're just doing it for those purposes, you don't have to have backup sights. But I see a lot of people with guns that they, you know, depend on, and they say that, hey, this is my rifle that I'm going to use uh, on duty, or this is my rifle that, you know, I'm keeping in the house, you know, something like that. Uh, security teams, details. Uh, some of the people don't have uh, backup sights on their, on their guns, and it's just a very bad idea. Uh, you need backup sights. Because uh, batteries fail and glass breaks. And uh, when you put Murphy's Law into it, you know that the, the glass will break and the batteries will fail. So at least you got a secondary system for siding. I hope this uh, video helps you a little bit to understand, you know, what the importance is of having backup sights on your, on your gun. And I uh, really hope you like the video. If you uh, want to see more content uh, I put out every week, just subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate that. Until then, y'all have a good one.